buddy, I'm heading home, so did you need anything? Okay, Cody, I'll just make you something. What a miserable night indeed, Jack. But now, after all the unforeseen heavy wind and thunder from last night, as you can see, Fairwood is in for a long period of beautiful sunny weather. I'm Don Stanley and that's it for your weather forecast. Stay sunny, Fairwood. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You wouldn't happen to know a Mr. Jake Morales? That's me. Oh, well, Mr. Morales, I'm Detective Ben Connors. Oh, uh... Don't worry. I'm not no. here to arrest you or anything. Okay. Can I come in? Uh, yeah, sure. Come in. Thank you. Uh, 
Uh, you can make yourself at home. I'm just making dinner right now. Nice place. Oh, thank you. Um, coffee? Oh, no, thank you. I I'm fine. Um, so, Mr. Morales, I've come here to tell you some pretty bad and, I guess, unheard news. Well, the internet has been acting up lately, so whatever news you have can't be that bad. Mr. Morales, um, it's about your friend Cody. Cody? Oh, yeah, um, uh, what's up? How's he, uh, how's he been? Well... You see, Jake, Cody is, uh... He's missing. Missing? You guys don't have any idea where he is? Not really, but we're hoping you might. <laughs> Why me? Because, Jake, out of every acquaintance and associate we've interviewed today, every single one mentioned you. Apparently, Cody talked about you quite a lot. Take me there. Jake Morales, how are you? I know we've never met before. Sheriff Alwood, pleasure to meet you. This is Deputy Miles Turner. If you have any information on Cody, please let us know. What happened? Well, sometime... You see, Cody went missing sometime last night. His neighbors called the sheriff to check out the scene. I arrived early this morning from Philadelphia. Don't worry, Mr. Morales. We have Fairwood's finest searching for your friend. How long have you known him? We've been friends since preschool, but I haven't talked to him that much ever since he got sick. He's always been kind of distant and did his own thing. You know, I don't hate him or anything. He was a good friend. I just, I just hope he's okay. Well, thank you, Jake, for the help. Now, if you can excuse me for a moment, please. Hello? Detective?
Cody? Cody, what? Where have you been? Are you, are you okay? We've been looking all over for you. We didn't. We didn't know if you're missing or what happened at all. Are you okay? Cody? Jake! Jake! Oh, oh crap. <coughs> Jake, you alright? What the hell just happened? Well, I think Cody just tried to kill you. No. That wasn't Cody. That's what I was worried about. Come on. Yes, Sheriff. Mm-hmm. I'll be at the station in a few minutes. Okay. Is that you? Oh. Don't worry, Cody. I read you in the sheriff and tell me you're okay. Now, where's that damn thing? Sorry, Cody, one sec.
Hello, this is Deputy Miles Turner on Silver Fox Road. I'm requesting immediate backup. I repeat, I'm requesting immediate backup on Silver Fox Road. Sophie? Along with the recent disappearance of local celebrity Cody, one more individual has gone missing in Fairwood. With the closeness of these two tragic events, it is appropriate to assume that there may be someone behind all of this. Is Fairwood safe anymore? Find out after the break. Jumpy there. It's good to see you again, Jake. How you been? It was that thing. The one with the Cody the when we saw at his house? Yeah. Whatever it is, I'm picking off whatever gets in its way. So, Jake, what do you got for me? Sure you're willing to be a part of all this? I just want to find out what happened to Cody. So where do we start?
I'm Detective Ben Connors. This is Jake Morales. We've come here today to ask you a few questions regarding the disappearance of Cody. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of busy right now. Hey, hey, hey. It's only going to be a few minutes. So, what happened between you two? Well, I, I, I guess we just stopped hanging out. Like I said, I don't think I can be much help to you, Detective. You always lived out here, Ricky? This was actually my, um, my parents' house. I moved in here a while ago. Well, uh, it's a nice place you got. Thank you, but, uh, listen guys, I really have to go. Oh, hey, just take it easy. I got one more question for you. I promise. What do you know about this? I, I don't know anything about that. Well, I'm pretty sure you do. He wrote all about you in it. Listen, I really don't know what that is. Hey, I'm just saying. He wrote about you and him and this so-called gem. So cut it out all and right. tell me what you know. All right, know. stop. I don't know what this stupid gem is. Hey, okay. It's, it's, it's very good. I'm sorry for blowing up on you like that. I completely apologize, but we really, really need your help. Please. Uh, uh, uh oh, okay, okay. Cool, okay. cool. Okay. What do you know about this? Ricky. Ricky, come on, have you seen this before? Please tell us, just help us out. You know anything about what's going on? We need to figure out what happened to Cody. I know this all seems kind of crazy, but we need help. Go. That ain't Ricky. What do you mean it is Ricky? Trust me. Run, Jake, now! Find the gem. What? I know where to find the gem. Go! 
Ben! the gem. Well, you can make up pit stop if you'd like, but I wouldn't recommend it. Darkest place in the woods. 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 Jake Morales.
Darkest room of endless nightmares. We should lay dormant and paralyzed with complete lack of power and control. Awaken, detective! There is a darkness that walks amongst us. It wants the chair. Do not trust those who appear like you. Detective Connors, help! Vigil at Cody's residence tonight to remember the lives of the people that we've lost. The vigil. Oh God. Jake? Oh my god. Jake, what happened? Where did you go? I ran away like you told me to. I know that, but I didn't know where you went. Listen, I found it. I found the gem. I, I messed up. What do you mean you messed up? Jake, you almost died. But I didn't, and I found it, and now we can use it. Jake, I can't. I nearly lost you at Ricky's place. My job is to protect you and everybody else here, all right? And we could do this. We could kill it. Jake, no. I'm sorry. I can't afford to lose anybody else. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, is this necessary? Sorry, Jimmy. Ben, please. I don't want to You're gonna get it. all these innocent people killed. Go. It's gonna come back. Just stay put.
Jake. I'm sorry. Cody? Hello, Jake. Son of a bitch. It's all right, Jake. You don't need to be afraid. I forgive you. <laughs> but they, they don't. don't. Jake, buddy, it's been a while. Where do you think you're going, Mr. Morales? Sophie? <laughs>
Die! God damn, this thing's strong! I'm gonna get us out of here. What the hell? <gasps> Sophie. You see, Jake? The gem is our new home. While it may be unusual with its powers, the gem takes good care of us. I'm so glad that the book led you here. <laughs> and I guess I can thank that detective, too. Ben! 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 Jake, is that you? Ben! 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 Jake! Jake! Don't you screw this up too! of Amethyst Nightmares. You shall lay dormant and paralyzed with complete lack of power and control. Don't you see, Jake? This is the gem. We are a part of a new world a greater society. You take all this for granted. God. Just think about it. We could be gods. We could have everything we want. We could start an entire world here. May the devil bind you to the cruelest of prisons and banish you! And you could even see her again. Doesn't that sound amazing? This, this isn't a new life. That thing, that creature, it killed you. This, this is death. You're not thinking straight. I banish you. I banish you from the life upon our earth. J. 
mistake? Jake Morales, this is only the beginning. After a strange and relatively unknown disturbance left most vigil attendees injured or hurt in some way, Help quickly arrived on the scene, and everyone, including the missing celebrity Cody Whitfield and Fairwood Deputy Miles Turner, were all accounted for. The only individual now missing is a local man named Jake Morales. Where is he? What happened to him? And most of all, what is this dark cloud that lies above our beautiful town of Fairwood? And how can it once again return to sunshine?